photo he has, his reborn son here, to do a video guide deep as a tank. Always go over in one far right portal. I'll be sure to put my template, runes, weapons, etc. required for this front in the description. And once again, this is Reborn from Legit. Enjoy the video. If you'll have questions, just feel free to ask. So all you need to do for the first room is maintain your enchantments and get them grouped up into one spot for the team to spike. And the rest of it's pretty self-explanatory. We have a con set up for this. I go ahead and pop my cupcake. I usually don't recommend running a cupcake, but sometimes I need extra help for the first room just to be on the safe side. So you just group them up, get Canoxy right between the two in the middle, and usually you are safe. And I type run, that way, hey, they know you need to get out of there once everything in the room is clear. It doesn't always work safe that way, but usually it does if you have a good necro that does the spike. So I'll be help, help them get through. All right, now that you're here, you're going to go ahead and wait on the uh, other teammates to get them in. Someone's AFK, maybe. Anyway, so now that we are waiting on the other teams to get through, usually as a tank, you do not want to go until at least one or two other rooms are open. So what I usually do for room two is just go ahead and watch and see, okay, nobody's got through yet. They still got to clear these. So I'm not going to go in until after they actually get through their rooms. So I ask, hey, let me know when their rooms are open. So once I know that the rooms are open, then that's when I need to go in. So the cycle that you're going to do is I'm going to draw on the mission map. I cycle through depending on where the aggro is. I'm going to group them up in the middle. Depending on your tactics, you can group them up in the middle in one spot. Or you can group them up, excuse me, group them up in a corner as you wish. So when you go in, cast Shroud, Shadow, shadow Form, and then I use the Signet prior to going in. That way I know I won't get interrupted. See how they're breaking? So I have to walk backwards knowing that they're breaking because of, I have a cupcake. So I walk backwards. I use my skills so I don't get erupted, get them grouped up. If I get stuck, which doesn't look like I will, I walk backwards into this corner. The reason I'm going to go into this corner is so that we can get everything grouped up in one spot. I type come room two all so everybody knows, hey, come to room two. The reason I go to room two is because it's closest to room one where I started from as well as it's nice to get a little corner block here as you see what I'm doing. So a good casual tank run, usually as you get every group pretty much properly grouped up and a good spike team can be 20 to 22 minutes. A slow run will be anything over 28 to 30. So you want to try to beat that full con set run. That way you're not popping a second con. I'm going to wait for my cupcake to run out. I'm not going to use another one. I don't like walking backwards and I wouldn't recommend running a cupcake in this uh tank as assassin. So now that I got Kanakse dead, I can go ahead and move in to the next area. As long as I manage Kanakse, then we were safe to say we were able to spike for the rest of it. So I just told the writ to get it. All right, he got it. Good. The reason I say get it for the writ so they can get the restoration so all them party um, allies don't get us, the enemies we're trying to kill. So all we do here as a tank is we're literally just going to wait to clear the enemies. That's all you can do. Just you move like a dwarf whenever possible until the room is clear. All right, we're looking good so far. Um, notice I have a shield spear set on for tanking 90% of the run. If I need energy boost, I'll use my staff, but I'm pretty much just going to suggest having a spear shield or sword or axe, depending on what you prefer. Now I just used recall on anybody. You can use recall on anybody um, as long as you're... You know, they're in range, they don't go back too far. The reason you recall from the way I'm going to teach you is just in case you get stuck, you can recall out. Otherwise, you're going to, I'll show you the, the way that I would recommend to group them up. So I'm going to cast Signet immediately. See how they're running forward? This is the time you go in. You go in until you see the left and right enemies come. All right, left and right enemies are coming. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this way. I walk backwards. They already aggroed. It's okay. That happens. So now that they aggro, normally I would be right here, and then I can death charge in, but since the derbs aggroed, I can just recall out. 
but there's another way you can do it where you group them up to here and then you can DC right here and literally 80% of the enemies would be grouped up. But this also works. You notice how I pulled them all in and then they're grouping up into that uh, one area. We don't have an edge of extinction EOE mes uh, net ranger this time, so it might be a little less damage for uh, bomb effect, but we still have pretty clean amount of aggro. So I told everybody to recall me once the room's clear. The reason you have recall here, if you do not know, is tank, you're going to be standing here, which is what this is, uh, what you would do, and you have four other people stand on four other pads to trigger for this gate to open. You want to make sure this room's clear. A minimize that a minimal of at least the Canoxe is dead before you do your recall, in order to know that the uh, it's safe enough for the rest of the team to get to the gate. Otherwise, you might have people die behind the gate, and we don't want that. And recall is definitely required, so that's not a modified per um, skill you would want to change on your bar. You're going to definitely need recall. And the recall would be only for the very end as well as for right now. So now we're just waiting on the team to finish clearing. So I'm going to go ahead. I told them to recall me. That's what she would do. So I told him that I'm offline, but I told him I'm on him. So I'm telling them to recall me and then stand on a pad. So now I, I'm pretty much targeting the one I recall. Make sure, hey, they know to go. We're still safe. The gate's open. Notice I'm in the middle. We see the gate's open. I'm not going to recall out until I know we're safe. Once everybody goes through, he's going to run. All right, he's running. So I'm going to go ahead and recall out now. Good. So I type everyone needs to run up, otherwise they're stuck. If they get stuck, that's their fault now. So, All right. So now I just use my Signet again. I am unstoppable, and I don't get erupted because of the Signet causes you to just instant cast, and you won't get erupted. That's the reason for the Signet. Group these enemies up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Recall. Most people won't recommend Recall here, but I like to use Recall just because, hey, you get an extra enchantment to your Shadow Form, so that's extra armor. So I type wait. You never know, there might be a new person in your team, so I'm just going to go ahead and say wait. So I use my three skills. I notice how I went to the left side first. I aggroed all groups. Now I'm going to the right, but I'm waiting on the enemies to run up. See how they ran up like that? All right, now we spike. I death charged in once they grouped up for a spike. The monk seated me. All right, now we just go ahead and wait for them to spike. But it looks like there's some people being newbie here. I don't know what's going on. Like, we don't have anyone helping fight. But I did my job showing you exactly what you need to do. So I'm telling people to ignore the damage up there on the sappings. People are killing the wrong things. Sometimes you're going to have to do, take control as, an, uh, as a tank to let people know, hey, you need to spike the right group, especially if you have some new players. So, All right, now we're going to wait on the monk to res. So now that I'm up, I'm just going to manage to handle the Canoxe. So this is a good thing this happened, even though it might be, hey, well, now it's an extra three or four minutes you're watching the video. But in a sense, this is showing you that, hey, stuff like this happens when you're tanking. What kind of precautions do you need to take an action of? Because your damage team is not always going to take authority and do what they need to do. I was doing my part as a tank, teaching you guys what you need to do and what's expected. But our damage team did not. They were spiking back here at the sappings. You're not supposed to spike the sappings, but... We have two people behind, so I'm assuming they just tried to, to kill them. All right, now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and get in place, pull the aggro. I use my signet so I don't get erupted when I get the next one in, and I'm going to group them up again.
All right, so now that we got this, we're gonna go ahead and let them get resed up and then run back. So it should be a lot more clean afterward. We're gonna go ahead and get these grouped up and then we can do the, the rest of the spike. I am unstoppable before you group them. So I'm walking back until notice they get, you see how they're running up? All right, now that they run up, I say spike. All right, so now they can go ahead and go. So I did my part. I died because the monk didn't see me until afterwards. So that's that's not my fault at all. That's their monk's fault for not healing. So now we just wait for them to clear this and then we can go ahead and do it the next part. Now that we're here, we're doing our part since the gate opened. Now we're going to immediately run into this area. I can't use shadow form, so I have to be careful. All right, notice how I pulled all the aggro. Okay, now that I got the aggro, I am unstoppable. You run back, and then there's going to be a front line that blocks it all. Nobody's blocking, so I'm going to go ahead and block. I use my skills now that I can cast them, and they can spike. Easy peasy, and we're able to run by after this. So uh, we have about four or five new people. That's the reason this is an issue. We have two people not in legit that's doing this run with us, so it's not a whole ally team. And then we have a new RIT, so we had an issue with that aggro. This kind of stuff is going to happen all the time when you're doing tanking, especially if you do it all the time. So you got to get used to this. This video is showing justice of, hey, this is the kind of stuff that you have to real world deal with as a tank. So now I'm up front, always up front as a tank. We are at 12 minutes in, so we're about three minutes behind, so hopefully we can catch up on that time just by the, um, being aggressively ahead, pulling these aggros in time for the next three areas. So now, as you saw here, all I did was go up and DC, death charge the writ down there, and then cause aggro, and then brought him to this corner for the dirves to spike. All right, let's go. I type go left. See, I have to literally be initiated with this because there's a few new people that don't know what to do. So we literally have to say run. Otherwise, people are going to sit behind and die. You can't cast your enchantments here because of the aspect, if you see where I'm hovering over, aspect of shadow. No enchantments are able until we kill Kanakse. Kanakse is the boss. So we're going to go ahead and kill the boss. I'm just going to knock him down once just to cripple him, just to give the ally a little help. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do my part. Let me pop apple and corn just because I like the extra health. So I still have bonds up right now, so we're in good shape there. I'm trying to spam my stuff, but it doesn't look like it is going to work. Nope. I might die, I might not. Um, I lost my enchantments because of disenchantment here, but I got stuck. But normally you would group them up right there. All right. I'm up now, so let's go ahead and do the next part. I died, so I'm going to go ahead and pop another candy corn and apple. I just like the extra energy, so that makes it a little bit easier for me. So now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and run up. This is what you do as a tank here. A lot of people might not understand this, but notice that I'm going to run up until Kanakse spoke. See how Kanakse spoke? Now that he spoke, I'm going to use my signet and get the rest of my stuff up, and then I'm going to get grouped up into the spot that's needed. All right, I'm just saying seed handle because handle's my bonder. So I say spike on one here. All right, anyway, there's aggro. So now we have to spike. This is a horrible teach run. I'm sorry, guys, but we have sucky people such as the aggro that not even in legit. He calls the aggro. I did my job. You see me holding them in the corner, and then we had somebody immediately come in and spike early. If that wasn't a spike early like that, we would have had a perfect group up. 
So stuff like this happens as a tank. It's irritating. You have to deal with it. But in a sense, this is the kind of stuff you deal with as a tank. And if you're trying to be a professional tank, you got to get used to stupidity. Sometimes it happens. So now we're just waiting on the enemies to come spike. I meant the party members. All right, so now that we got aggro, all we can do is just sit here and continue to hold the aggro for the spike. All right, I'm literally being a little rude and abrasive with my typing, like saying, hey, come kill instead of sitting back. But we had like eight people sitting back there for 10 seconds while we didn't have nothing going on, nothing dying because of it. So. So this is a rough run, so I'm going to go ahead and take initiative and say kill these. Normally you would run by these, but we have such a bad team this run, so your fact is you don't want to run. You want to kill these, otherwise you're going to run and you're going to end up having some people be stuck behind, so it would be safer to just kill them. Alright, now that we're here, we're going to wait for everything to be dead. And then we can run after this group. Usually it's easy to run by one group, but when you got four groups to run by, you always end up having two or three people dead. So really there's not much you're going to do here as a tank besides stay up front, make sure you're the first one that gets attacked on, but they're still going to use the spells and others because you're maintaining shadow form and they're not going to use shadow form. They're going to be trying to use it on other players. That kills our party member. So I'm just taking initiative, continually using death charge, going up front, making a front line for them to at least get a group up on me. Good. Notice I haven't used my, my staff once. I've had a spear shield the whole time. We are at 17 minutes in. So we are about three and a half, almost four minutes behind now because of that bad spike earlier as well as some other slow stuff. But we're still making decent time. So everybody needs to run. We're doing all right on time now. So we just need to keep running. I popped a cupcake now since I know I'm not going to be pulling any kind of tanking for a while. All right, so notice what I did here. All I did was go to the corner where the Oni spawned, and I grouped them up. All I had to do there was just step forward and sit still. All the Oni spawned, and then you keep going. So I usually go to the stairway here, but instead I'm going to group them up right here. I use my signet so I don't get erupted. Let them group up and call target, and now spike. They should die within a few seconds. Just like that, having two or three derbs usually spikes them. Now that you got majority of the team, you need to run on. Do not sit there and wait until all the aggro odies are dead. Otherwise, you're going to cause issues where now that they're going to be waiting on the tank. <laughs> Excuse me, I had a sneeze. All right, so the final group. Um, I normally would death charge right in, so go ahead and use my skill prior to. And if I get crippled, I am unstoppable. I death charge Kanakse, and then I back up until I have the three groups of Onis plus Kanakse, like right here. Use my signet so I don't get erupted, and then, then just call target. I have to literally spam. That way people see that it's time to spike. All right, now I'm going to go in and... Group up the sappings. Here is definitely, definitely, I'm going to say one more time, definitely required for you to maintain shadow form. Otherwise, you're going to have issues. You, If you don't have shadow form maintained, you're going to die. If you maintain shadow form, oh, this is a piece of cake. Literally, all you're going to do is just maintain shadow form and you loop around. You start on the right because there's a cycle where they circle to the right, which is counterclockwise. So you got to stay going clockwise against them. If you're running with them, you're going to end up getting screwed over and it's going to cause the aggro to um, not come with you and then they won't catch up. You're going to play catch up instead. 
So I did a countdown. Usually that works better for this group because it's a bigger group and everybody needs a spike at the same time. So that was a pretty good job there for everybody. So I'll give them a good job for that. All right, we're good to move forward. Um, there's no chests. I usually look, oh, there's one, but I'm, I'm doing a video guide. So I'm going to keep moving. I usually would get a chest there, but uh, since this is a guide, I'm not going to get it. I need to stay up front. So now that we're here, we're going to take um, recall. And usually I just press this on my keyboard and V. V for the closest party ally member. All right, now that I'm here, I just used V recall on the party member. And now you're going into Canoxe aspect. All you do here is hug this corner just like that and death charge up. The reason I hug the corner is that that way I can get in caster range to death charge. All I did was run up past Kanoxe to that little out arrow area on the mini mesh map and then recalled out. If you don't recall out, you'll end up dying. That's the reason you use recall, so you can jump back to the party member's location. All right. So we're at 21 minutes, so we did catch up a little bit, being a little aggressive. That does look rude, but in a sense, that's the way you got to take initiative as a tank to let the party know, hey, this is what's going on. We need to keep up etc. So we did catch up about two minutes time just from pushing. So we are about two minutes behind instead of four to five as it was earlier. Just keep running and don't stop. So you don't even need to use really any skills. The only skill I like to use here is you, you move like a dwarf to cripple the onis and then just shatter form and then just keep running. So I just say UA as you as you uh, stop, 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 guys. All right, so I just said stop. So hey, people need to notice to kill these. All right, I did wrong. Okay, kill the onions here. We let it gain up and drill in. Everybody needs to get a little bit of energy going. I recall just so I have a little bit of extra armor. And then I DC in. Everybody can spike. Now they recalled, they took out my recall. Um, usually the death hands can take out the recall if you don't spike within a few seconds using that skill. Chilla beans, I'm pretty sure that's the one. They have a touch skill that takes out my enchantment. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. All right. Now we are at the final ending of this, the second area that you can use recall. So the final area to use recall. All I'm going to do here is recall somebody, usually closest target, and make sure you stay out of in range of them. Maintain shadow form, and you get to get two knockdowns here. This is the final area of the tank's job. Just two knockdowns. All right, I did one. All right, make sure all my stuff's up, and I'm going to go ahead and do the second one as soon as it spawns. All I got to do is knock Kanoxe down twice. Notice that see all the sappings that spawns doing those two knockdowns? The reason for that is you have to spawn two groups of sappings, knocking him down twice on the left side. After those two groups are spawned, you're able to go right. You can choose right or left side. We've always done left side because it just seems that's the way things would work best, the way aggro works with the wall. So we always go to the right side. The tank, you would go into the left side. All right. Anyway, that's the that's the video just here. Sorry for it being a little longer than expected. I was expecting about a 22-minute run, so we're three minutes behind from a very successful run, but we still did good timing. If you all have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I'll be sure to put everything in the description as far as runes, your weapons, your skill bar you're going to need, and if there's anything else you have ideas of or need for this, just let me know. But thanks for watching. All I'm going to do is go in and group this, and then I'll finish this video up so you can see how I'm going to group this last group up. I'm literally just going to go in DC into a spot, pull them all up together, and then wait for them to spike. So this is the end of the video. Thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. This is Reborn from Legit, out.